is a little Copeland compressor. Uh, I believe it's 3D. Yeah, it's a 3D. See on this side, and right here we have the discharge service valve. And uh, I was do uh, doing some repair work the other day and found that this service valve was leaking right at this packing nut. So you can do two things with that leak. You can either just tighten the packing nut. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, repack that valve if you're in the field and you don't have a packing rope. Well, let's get started. All right, first off, we're going to want to make sure that this valve is back seated. it all the way back so this valve you see this stem right here this is your discharge line over here and then going to the compressor or from the compressor to the discharge when you front seat this valve and you run the stem all the way in the seat runs up against this excuse me the stem runs up against the seat and the valve closing off the line to the uh, condenser and making it open a uh, direct open from your port to your compressor if you just mid seat the valve when you're checking the pressures run it in a little bit and now you'll have your port open to your discharge all the way through so you can read your discharge pressure when your valve is front seated this packing gland is open to the pressure on the line as the seat comes back this way, see where the, ang the valve angles out right here? There's a, a t double tapered seat on this stem, well, a double tapered valve on this stem. So when it comes back, it, it seats back on this seat in the rear, and it won't allow any gas to get past and out your packing nut right here. So when you're changing the packing on this service valve, you wanna make sure that the stem is fully back seated that way you won't be losing any charge during the process and next we're just going to remove this packing nut it's just uh, you can use a regular wrench to back it off and you can pull it right off the stem hopefully if nobody's jacked up the uh, stem too bad i'll be right back with that okay you can see here i've got the packing nut started you can see there's uh, threads right here and this uh, gland is packing gland is internally threaded so to accept the uh, packing nut. So we'll just pull that and you can pull that right off the stem and see how that it's conical shaped to accept the packing. And whenever you uh, tighten this packing nut, the packing in there gets squished tighter and tighter in here and forces itself into the dead space and that's how you prevent leaks over time when people don't don't loosen these packing nuts before they run the stem in and out the packing gets destroyed and then you end up having to repack the valve well, let's take a look and see if we can get anything out of them uh, next what i've done is i've taken and torn off a piece of teflon tape this happens to be three quarter wide and this is uh quite a bit thicker than your normal teflon tape it's known as hercules is the brand it's probably uh, thicker than or comparable to that blue monster that you see in some of the parts houses these days So I'm going to take a length of uh, Teflon and it just take some practice to figure out how much you need But uh, I double it over and then I twist it together to make a rope. So that takes two hands I'll do that and I'll show you the final product All right now you can see I have this Teflon, all I did was twist it in one direction with my fingers and form this Teflon rope. Okay, next I'm going to take this anti-seize and just put a little bit on my fingers and coat this Teflon with the anti-seize. And then we'll take it and we'll wrap it around the valve stem and get it ready to be pushed into that cavity in the, uh, the gland in the valve. All right, now then, I, I have the tail end of this rope to have it all 
coated with anti-seize and have the tail end of the rope inside the gland. And I'm just going to wrap it around. You don't need it crazy tight, but you want to get a good, uh, a good wrap on there. So I'm probably not going to need all this. I'll cut it off and uh, we'll come back and thread in the packing nut. Okay, so you can see I have the packing wrapped around the valve stem and I'm just going to push the nut in there and hopefully we can get this started like that. You want to have uh, just enough that you can get those threads started but you don't want to have to uh, run it all the way in before you start contacting the teflon that you just put in there. And we'll tighten this up. on the stem. Before we get the and before we get it all the way tight, the packing it all the way tight, I'll run the stem in and back out. And that will make sure you have the cap or in this case I have this uh, eye connect on there but We'll run the stem in and out, coat the inside of the Teflon with the NICs and tighten it up and that'll be it. too much just yet.